Hello, everyone. Welcome to our channel. My name is Ryan. And my name is Sam. We did it the other way. Catch you off guard. Today, we're going to be doing a little throwback video, and we are going to be playing a little game called MASH. Remember MASH? When, when is the first time you got introduced to MASH? Elementary school. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like MASH and whatever these are called. Cootie catchers. Cootie catchers. Those kind of happened in the same world. We got the idea to make this video because we were literally at a bar, and it was kind of a slow night, and we played MASH on a bar napkin. Because we're that kind of couple. It's a game that never fails. Truly. If you aren't familiar with MASH, it is... I actually don't know how you would categorize this game. I mean, it, it's in the same world as a cootie catcher because it's like telling your fortune. Yeah. But there's like a game involved. Essentially, you're deciding what your future is going to be like based on a few criteria. So it's like, who are you going to marry? Where are you going to live? What kind of place are you going to live in? How much money are you going to make? What kind of car are you going to drive? Stuff like that. If you don't know the game, I think you'll catch on pretty quick. It is not that complicated. <laughs> but we are going to bring you that wholesome elementary school fortune teller our content right now sam heads or tails tails flip a coin it's heads so i will be going first we are using mashga.me probably one of the most <laughs> impressive websites i've ever seen but i don't it has weird criteria we don't know what colors and numbers is so we are just going to replace those with our own criteria so we will be picking our crushes for who we will marry the cars that we may drive. Instead of colors, we will do salary. Mm -hmm. For numbers, we'll do number of kids. Places will be places and jobs will be jobs. I have to say, I hate this on a digital interface. I, I feel like I prefer the analog version yeah. where you just write it all down on a piece of paper. You'll see there's a little spot that says magic number. This is the number you input and we'll basically explain in the first round, but the analog style, you would draw a spiral mm -hmm. and then when someone says stop, you would count the lines and that would be your number. I just, I like the classic version. We will just do a random number generator in this digital age, but I agree with you. I miss that magic touch of the piece of paper and the pencil or the bar napkin. MASH stands for Mansion, Apartment, Shack, House. I have also played games where people think that the A stands for Attic, but Attic and Shack feel too yeah. meh. So Ryan, should we fill out, your, fill out your options here? Yes. I feel like just in the interest of fairness, there has to be kind of a balance of like medium choices, great choices, and terrible choices. Mm -hmm. Samantha Feckety. I mean, we'll put like Harry, obviously. <laughs> What's like a terrible? Logan Paul. Oh God. You're welcome. Who's like an okay option for you? You know, Sam, I'm just so happy in this relationship that I, <laughs> I can't even think of who else I would want to be with. Oh, you know who I love? Who? Saoirse Ronan. Oh, okay. What, how do I, what's, how do uh, I do not know how to. S-A-I-R. Wait, I actually think that's. So Ronan is just S-A-O-I-R-S-E. I was very close. Wait, keep the question mark. I kind of like that. Samantha Hairstyles, Logan Paul, Saoirse Ronan. I feel like you kind of need another one. One more like one. bad, bad. Mitch McConnell. No, why, why, <laughs> Sam? You said you need a bad, oh bad. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. This is one that I always put for cars just because it's hysterical to me. Oh, wow, okay. Razor Scooter. Jolly cart. Prius. Okay. Five dollars a year. A year. Okay. Yep. No money. A hundred thousand dollars. Great. A million. But like 50k? Give sure. A little right. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. I feel like 60k and 100k are too close to each other. Do like 500k. Oh, fun. Yeah. Okay. Number of kids. Zero, Zero. one, two, nine and a half. <laughs> Four. Great. Okay. Places. So is this where you live? Yeah. So, you know, USA, France. Oh, you, you're doing countries. Okay. Yeah. Antarctica. All right. Japan. Ireland. I, the I would home. want to live in Ireland, though. Yeah. Antarctica would be the only... I feel like I need one more bad place I to balance see. it out. Okay. Careful what you say. <laughs> What's a bad place to live? Like the middle of a desert. Sure. <laughs> I love that they're all countries and then one just... <laughs> <laughs> Very specific location. Well, because you told me, be careful what you say. Okay, Jobs. job. Actor. Actor, obviously. Security guard. I hope you're a security guard in the middle of a desert. <laughs> Senator, which oh. is, that could be a good job or a bad, could be job. a bad job. Babysitter. And then what's like another? Professional snowboarder. 
I love the idea that like you're a professional snowboarder in the middle of that could just be like really bad because like you're not a snowboarder. Yeah. <laughs> you can you can be a bad professional. Okay, so now it is time to put in your magic number. Mm -hmm. Go go magic generator. So what? Let's do max fifteen. Eight. Great. All right. So before you put it in, if you guys don't know how this works, it'll literally count and at each eighth one it lands on, it crosses it off. So whatever you're left with is your future life. I kind of hope it counts through them. I don't want it to just like- Do it. Do it like a computer would do it. There's no way to know until we hit predict. All right, let's see what your you're life is, baby. You're seeing us react to this live and in person. We've never done this before. Have we ever met before, Samantha? What? You know how they're always saying, like, we've never met before. before. This is the first time we're ever using this product. Okay, but we actually are using this product for the first time. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Yay, it counts it. Okay. Oh, wow. It goes so fast. You don't get a jack. You either have I'm a shopping make, cart or a Tesla. I'm making no money. Oh, no. I hope I'm you... I'm living in a shack. <gasps> no, Ryan. It's either me or Mitch McConnell. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, oh, it gives, it gives you a story. Once upon a time, you met Samantha and got married. You moved to Japan and lived in a shack. You eventually, oh no, had one kids with Samantha. You drove around in... Oh, oh it, it thinks it's the, the color, color of the, the car. car. <laughs> so I drove around in a no, no money, money shopping, shopping cart. cart. So I made no money and my mode of transportation was a shopping cart. I worked as an actor. Until the age of 65, when you retire. Which they just decided that. We never talked about age of retirement. Yep. But well, great. Um, Some of that sounds great. A shack in Japan seems rough. Having a kid seems rough. But at least we're together, babe. And I get to be an actor this whole time. So I'm on the right path Clearly not there. a successful one. Nah, no, I, you know. <laughs> you drive around in a no money shopping cart, Ryan. <laughs> maybe, that, maybe I chose that. Maybe I'm super oh, humble. I walk the walk. I hope... I hope I am really just providing for us. <laughs> well, we're about to find out. Harry Styles, Ryan McCartan. But okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, I don't get two Trumps. <laughs> well, I guess you and Ryan, and uh, you, you and Ryan, you and Harry are really good. So can I get like another good one? Yeah, like, of course. Like um, Timothy Chalamet. What? Yeah. Not like Chris Evans? Well, is Chris Evans too good to be here? Well, you have two Trumps on here. Yeah, I put Chris uh, here, Evans okay. in there. Okay, we'll do we'll do Chris Evans, but we'll make we'll make this even worse. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my God! I first I thought you were just, just putting two, two Donald, Donald Trumps. Trumps. I no. thought you were saying like because it's you, Harry Styles, or Chris Evans that there are two, two Trumps Donald in Trumps there. to even yeah. it out. No. Okay. okay uh, we'll put little Tesla. Tesla, sure. Baby blue Ford truck, Prius. Mm, we did two oh, Prius. Okay. We'll do we'll do Toyota Camry. Hummer. So we we need two. But okay. A little bit. And then like a really bad... Cardboard box. Two million dollars. Wow. If I'm supporting... Yeah, hope uh, so. Her shack hope so. in Japan. Thirty thousand dollars. Zero dollars. I feel like a hundred K is right. nice. Zero. Four. <laughs> and two. USA. Great. Canada. France. We did France for me. Okay. Greece. Greece. Antarctica. We did it. North Pole. And, and then we did middle of the desert. So, so something nice like and descriptive. Middle of the rainforest. That, like, I know a rainforest sounds nice, but that's not good at all. Nanny. Producer. Game show host. <laughs> Unemployed. Mm, then, like, I feel like those, those are just kind of... Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Come on, random number go, generator. Go, go, number generator. 12. Oh, guys, I'm so nervous. Here we go. Live, pr live, live. Here we go. Live reaction. No truck. You're no not making. $30. Oh, I got <gasps> knocked off oh, right God. away. It's gonna be a Trump. Harry Styles oh, no, just got no, knocked come on, off Chris, too. Chris, 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 please, Chris. Ooh, All I'm watching is Chris. You're in a shack as well. No. No. You're driving a Toyota Camry. I have two kids. Oh God. Oh God. Oh my Whoa. God. No. No. Oh man. Once upon a time, you met Donald Trump. <laughs> Donnie T, President 45 himself, and got married. You moved to Greece and lived in a shack. You had two kids with Donald Trump. <laughs> you drove around in a Toyota Camry. You make $100,000 a year as a producer in Greece from a shack. Okay, honestly, a shack in with Greece Donnie doesn't and the kids. sound that bad. On, uh, if I... 
if the depth of our relationship was that we got married, had two kids, and then I never saw him again, and I like moved. It sounds to like all his other wives. Grace. Yeah. This. Uh, I hate this. Yeah, this didn't go well for you. But that's mash, baby. Sometimes this happens. Sometimes, sometimes you the winds don't get of your mash dream blow life. Your way, and sometimes the winds of mash blow you into a shack in Greece with Donald Trump. Did you ever cheat while playing mash as a kid? Absolutely. Yeah. So you skip one, the two, three, four, five. Six. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, you can't cheat with a computer. No. Well, I'm glad we both have not good lives. What are you talking about? I'm married to you in Japan. With one kid in a shack and you make no money. Yeah, that's okay. You make $100,000 as Donald Trump's producer, producer. wife. <laughs> So you, I mean, if we put, if we mash our mashes together, you like see me on the side. You use Donald Trump's PJ to fly over to Japan and see me on the weekends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bring, bring the two kids. Ivana and Melania Jr. can come on over to Japan and hang out with you, me, and our kid, Bucky. It all works out for us. Hey, sometimes the fates aren't fair. Well, this was fair. <laughs> this this was fair. Anyway, y'all, uh, hope you enjoyed this little trip down memory lane. We're happy to do it again if you want us to. Yeah. Have you ever played MASH? Who do you think has the better life between me and Samantha? It's not that hard, but who do you think? You know, trying to up that engagement. Leave us a comment, even though yeah. it's obviously me. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. <laughs> we appreciate you being here as always. Be, Be sure, sure to like and subscribe. And we will see you on the next one, Daddy. Bye.